What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and welcome to my guide for counter picking. This has been a hugely requested guide and I'm glad to finally put it out. Let's get started. Now, there are three important parts to counter picking to understand. The first is that when counter picking in a lane, your counter pick must be based on counter play mechanics rather than what champions counter which ones, although that does still kind of apply. A counter pick works because the champion you picked has a high amount of counterplay mechanics to your opponent's champion. There are some situations where the advantage is obvious, for example when a champion has increased range such as Caitlyn countering Vayne or when a champion gets every aspect of them shut down such as Diana versus Katarina, but most counterpicks aren't that obvious where you can just look them up on a website. For the purpose of this video, I've divided skills while landing into three categories. Crowd control skills, damage skills, and mobility skills. Now let's make this into a simple rock paper scissors analogy. Mobility skills get countered by crowd control because they hinder, weaken, or completely eliminate the effectiveness of that said mobility, while crowd control skills get countered by damage skills because no lane opponent has the ability to CC you forever, so you will still be able to get off that damage because CC does nothing other than delay the damage rather than hinder or remove it, while damage skills get countered by mobility because they can be used to dodge, juke, or avoid the damage in some way. Note that this is just an extreme generalization for the purpose of this video, though. There are and always will be exceptions to this, but if I had to classify all mechanics, this is the way I would do it to base counter picks on. Next is that when counter picking, you need to focus on the entire enemy team, not just your lane opponent. For example, Janna counters Kennen and Fiddlesticks because although she might not lane against them, she can push them away when they try to jump in fights. Other than specific obvious situations like Janna, these mechanics are fairly hard to classify, so you need to judge the opposing team composition as a whole. For example, poke comps get countered by hard engage comps, while hard engage comps get countered by kiting or disengage comps, and kiting comps get countered by poke comps once again, and so on. Those are of course not the only types of team compositions, but it's a great example as to how to counterpick teams effectively. Do your best to judge the enemy team and pick accordingly. Lastly, remember that counterpicking is not the end all, be all of gameplay. You should only pick a certain champion to counter your opponents if you are very confident on that said champion and are experienced enough with them to play them well. Counter picks mean absolutely nothing if you cannot play the champion correctly. If there's a big enough skill difference between players, the better player will always win. But most of the time, the skill difference is very close, so you want to maximize it in your favor by picking a champion that you are very good at that also does well against your opponent's pick. My goal with this video is to give you the ability to judge the situation and make your decision based on that. This isn't some mobifier guide that you can follow step by step. You need to be smart in your counter picks, otherwise it can backfire heavily. So that's it for my guide to counter picking. I'd love it if you could support me with a like or some feedback in the comments, and if you have any questions I would love to see you in the comments too. Please subscribe for more awesome content in the future if you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.